everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tammy and if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I like to talk about planners and home things and Disney and travel and family and my faith. And I am just so excited to finally sit down with you and give you guys an update for my 2021 goals. Let's dig right in. My goal here on the channel is always to help you to be encouraged to create a life that you love. And I know there's variations of that saying um, that different people use. I have been thinking in that mindset and using that focus um, for years, um, both in two previous vlogs and now here on YouTube. And this year I am using, once again, my Moxie Life Goal Setting Planner. So it is my goal setting planner and weekly planner, monthly planner, all in one. I started using this in January of 2020 when it first launched and it has just really helped change the way that I approach goals even after decades of goal setting and coaching in various organizations and situations and work mentors and all the things. I think one of the things that really makes this have an impact for me is the fact that everything is together. I'm a very functional planner, even though I love to use decorative things as well. Um, as we like to say, fun, all in capitals, functional. Uh, but anyway, so in the Moxie Life system, there are eight goal setting areas of life. It kind of comes from the wheel of life um, that you may have seen in other goal setting systems. And those categories, you can see how I broke down my goals for the year at the beginning of the year in the video I will link here in a card above and in the description below. And you can also see an entire playlist of my Moxie Life plan with me's and other things, um, which I'll also link here. So again, let's get into the goals. So in these eight categories, the first category is personal. And for me, that is really where my word of the year came from this year was the word create. And I really wanted that to be the kind of filter that I put everything through. And I do feel like I've had a little bit of a tug of war with that because that's my word of the year, which tends to make me feel like I think my intention was for that to basically drive that personal goal area and kind of put an emphasis on it. But my two stretch goal areas are physical health and financial. So I'm realizing that that word may be a good filter still, but I feel kind of like a guilt or um, like I'm slacking basically in the personal area um, because my word of the year is create, but I have not really put a lot of emphasis on that area. So. A couple of the goals I had in that area was to be more creative in painting and things like that. I have done a very little bit of that, um, probably more than I had done in the last six months of 2020, but um, very little bit of that. And one of my other goals in that area was reading, specifically to read books I own and not purchase anymore. If you saw my previous update, I felt like I had already kind of failed in that part of that goal because I purchased the Harry Potter books in hardback that we did not currently have in hardback. Um, but since then, I've actually purchased one more book. Michael Hyatt came out with a book with his daughter who just became CEO of Michael Hyatt Company, Megan Hyatt Miller, and I just have mad respect for her and for them as a team and the company. And so um, purchasing the book got you a free webinar with some other speakers that I really like. So I kind of felt like I was purchasing the webinar and got the book free, um, whatever you want to call it. But I did purchase that book as well, which I have not read yet. However, I have definitely been enjoying reading and I did pick up the February Moxie Life Book Club book cast from the library. And I am really, really enjoying the what I'm learning from that book, but it was very intense and I was struggling to actually read it in book form. So I switched before the end of February was over to the audio book through the library and I had not quite finished it when my like online loan for the audio book expired. I just got the notification yesterday that I can have the book again, so I should be finishing that this week. In the meantime, I read the novel that was the, um, I'm sorry, I think, well anyway, at some point, Cast was the Moxie Life Book Club book. 
I just finished the April Moxie Life Book Club book, which is the Midnight Library. Very interesting, very quick read. I finished that in one morning while we had a little cabin getaway in North Georgia. So anyway, all that to say, I have not done a great job of not buying books, but I'm certainly not buying multiples every single month and that sort of thing, which was very typical for me in the past. And so I'm proud of myself for making some progress there. I also ended up, I'm not sure if I shared this, but I ended up having a friend that I got back in touch with around New Year's and we text each other when we finish books. So we need to do a little catch up. So it's kind of like some accountability, quick chat without a full book club experience. So um, hopefully soon we'll be able to maybe meet up and, and do a little book chat in person once a month. Um, okay. So, fun and recreation. I just mentioned we went to the North Georgia Mountains for a quick weekend getaway, and we did that this last weekend, a week ago, and had a really good time. I just basically went to unplug, so we did that. And um, But really, fun and recreation for me, this category is, the way it's different from personal is the personal things are are really just for me. Either things I want to do or things that are good for me. Um, spiritually, like mentally, emotionally, all the other categories, but really just for me. Whereas fun and recreation is what I think of as more, it might be for me, but it typically is going to involve other people. So this is where I put travel. That has a lot of crossover to family for us as well. But, um, you know, just those other kinds of things. So often for us, we do own a boat here in North Florida. So it might be getting out on the boat on the weekends. It is going to be soon, in less than two weeks, a Disney trip with my daughter now that our entire household is fully vaccinated. So we're super, super, super excited about that and looking forward to that. So I feel like that category is, is definitely kind of carrying itself this year, which is, I think, something that's important to know. You need to be aware of all the areas of life. You really, I don't think that you can only have goals in one area and completely avoid goals in the other areas. But I think the goals in the other areas can be very kind of maintenance mode or basic. They don't have to be super complicated. Um, like your goal may be to maintain the level of activity you have going on in that category, for example. Um, I do want to bump up the fun and rec, but I feel like it's working this year as just part of what we're prioritizing. That being said, one of the things that we have added to our lives that definitely seems to fall in the fun and recreation category is we recently adopted a two-year-old lab and we had a lab in the past and we really really just enjoy their personalities and their um, demeanor uh, he was unfortunately not able to be cared for by his previous owner anymore due to some medical issues and he did not make the cut for a companion or um, like service dog. Just labs do typically have some potential issues with their hips and he was a little overweight when he was given to that service. So he has since lost 10 pounds and is in much better health already and we have had him for a couple of weeks. So we are super excited to have that addition to our family and he is definitely making us get out and walk and just be more active and do things together. So that's fun. The third area of life in the Moxie Life goal setting system in categories is work and learning. And I'm super excited to have this already highlighted right here that I completed my certification in the first quarter for work. It really wasn't super complicated. It's not like I was trying to become a nurse or anything like that. Uh, but I had started this certification in November and at first I was able to work in a little bit of time every week at work and then things just got so busy and um, just the volume of work that I had to do. I finally sat down one Saturday in March and spent a couple of hours finishing the modules and then a couple of hours the next Sunday morning doing a review taking the exam and finishing the certification. So I'm super, super excited to have that done and completely crossed off the list. And no, I am not planning on adding any more like day job work goals <laughs> for the rest of the year because I really give a lot of focus and energy at work for work. 
and I'm not one to just take, you know, 30, 45 minutes chatting with people regularly every single day. I go in and I work and work and work and work. And so I am just not setting any new goals in that area. I think it's okay when you finish a goal to let the area be. The other things I do want to accomplish in this area still have to do with this, my YouTube channel and our community here and on Instagram. That's where I am most days. If you want to go over to Instagram and find me, I'm at Tammy Skipper and I'll have that linked below as well. Um, but anyway, so those are the things that are still in progress there. The fourth category is family and relationships. And I've touched on this, how this definitely does overlap into other areas for me. Uh, but as we get into the point of the year where we're just about one third of the way through the year, we have actually had a couple of family trips, which given the circumstances of the world and the way things have been, I'm super proud of us for how we have figured out to do that and everybody, you know, like isolating as needed and then now being able to do some trips either just with those of us in our household or to um, parents who are fully vaccinated things like that. So we have done that. Uh, we are going to still be working on the transition of my daughter to independent living after college here at some point this year, we think, as her company makes the decision if she's going to be fully remote in the future or if she will have a hybrid model and need to move closer to the company headquarters. Okay, let's get into the second half of the Moxie Life goal setting areas and the two areas that have stretch goals for me. If you're familiar with the concept, um, if you've watched any of the lives from Sierra and Darian over at Moxie Light, she's really pretty clear on stretch goals being something that you can't have in all eight categories and be realistic. Uh, and so I really tweaked that down this year and made sure, as I mentioned, that it was only in a couple of areas. And I knew that these things were important as we went into the year, um, physical health because of how I was feeling overall. Um, I, I was gaining weight, but it wasn't just that I was gaining weight that was bothering me. Um, it was really about how I was feeling. And I have a big update on that whole category if you're not following me on Instagram. Um, but first, what I want to tell you is when you have these stretch goals, I think what I have found already in 2021 is that this is where you can really use support. Now, if it's physical health or financial, you might need to hire a professional, you might need a nutritionist, you might need a financial advisor, you might need, um, if it's family and relationships, you might need therapy. If it's fun and recreation, you might need to become part of a club or organization around that activity, um, you know, things like that. And the Moxie Life team has really looked at where we're all coming out of 2020 and the impact that that has had on our just energy level. And I love that they're recognizing that this is a very, very unique time for most of us to come off of a year plus of a lot of isolation, of work changing for a lot of people from being maybe completely in a corporate environment to possibly being fully remote forever. Uh, I know people that were sent home in March of 2020 for a couple of weeks and they never went back. Literally a year later going in and picking up things that were in their office just to, you know, be remote forever. And so recognizing that transition and the support that would be valuable to the community whether you use the Moxie Life Planner or not, they are offering six months of coaching. And it is a paid program. You can do it for $59 a month or um, I believe it's a little under $270 for the whole six months. It's a 17% discount off of $59 a month, whatever that works out to be. Um, those are the numbers I remember. <laughs> But it's called Club Moxie, and I personally paid my own money to sign up and be part of the program. Enrollment is open from April 22nd until April 29th, and then kickoff is April 30th. Sierra will be leading this with a team of support personally, and she is a trained life and business coach. So to me, I mean, that's like 
one or two sessions with a professional coach and instead of just those two sessions we get six months there's a full uh, detail of the curriculum on the Moxie Life page. You can go to their Facebook page, you can go to their Instagram stories, and there's a highlight saved where Sierra really describes each module. So I don't wanna take the time to do that because she's really, truly the best source. But it, it's everything from mindset to, um, you know, recognizing where we are, thinking about where we wanna go. It's about the process of goal setting versus, um, trying to get into nitty gritty questions about how do I take the next step in this exact goal. It's really helping us become empowered to take those goals that we want and figuring out for ourselves what we really do want and how to get there. So I'm super excited about Club Moxie. I'll have a link below. It will be an affiliate link. If you don't want to use my link, I totally encourage you to go straight to the Moxie page and use their link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but as I mentioned, I'm paying for my own because I believe in it so much. And I'm going to be offering one month to someone, whether you sign up on your own, I'll PayPal you for the one month free, or if you don't have it at all, I will be paying for you to have one month free. One person will win that, and I'm doing that over in my Instagram stories. So again, go check that out. Okay, second half of the goal areas. Let's get into physical health and my update. As I mentioned at the beginning of the year, I knew that physical health was gonna be a very important area for me and that it just really had to be a priority because of how I was feeling daily, just energy, um, frustration with feeling like I was eating healthier and healthier but feeling worse and worse. I. Um, just had made a lot of changes and was just seeing more deterioration of my health overall instead of improvement. And just a couple of weeks ago, not even two full weeks ago, I got some results back after a couple of strong allergic reactions I had had seven weeks apart. So after dinner, seven weeks apart, two totally different meals, drinks, everything here at home, I had very severe allergic reactions and once the first time happened, I really thought it was a fluke. I really didn't know if I was having allergies to something else and it just happened to show up after dinner. But when it happened again after dinner, seven weeks later with completely different food, I really got the doctors on the phone. <laughs> and the results that I got two weeks ago currently show that my body is possibly allergic to just about everything. <laughs> and basically what that really means is I'm showing that I'm allergic to those things right now, but probably my body is just in a complete state of bad health, um, whether that's leaky gut or other things or multiple things. Unfortunately, I'm having to wait a little bit longer to see an allergist, so I'm still at the beginning stages of this. But as soon as I got the phone call, saying that my blood panel was showing that I was allergic to wheat, eggs, milk, and almost every nut that they had tested, I worked really hard immediately to eliminate all of those things from my diet. I have not done a perfect job of that, and a couple of times that means that I have had organic, non-GMO corn tortilla chips with a big bowl of guacamole, because technically I could have it. <laughs> So that's not a long-term goal either to be just sitting and eating chips. <laughs> but I have definitely been on a journey the last couple weeks. And so this category is right now really my number one priority. And that is part of why the other areas have truly been on maintenance mode or even sliding back a little bit. That being said, I will have an update in my next video for a new health planner that I am using to track everything. It started just in my regular planner the first couple of days and then I pulled out an old um, like traveler's notebook style health journal that I had and I was using that for the couple of weeks and I just got the new Emily Lay simplified uh, wellness journal that they launched with the spring launch. It is sold out um, but hopefully they'll bring it back in the fall and I'll have a full review of that coming up and in that video I'll talk more about what I'm tracking and why I think that planner is going to be a good fit for me. So, 
number one goal in health and uh, physical health and wellness for my Moxie Life system at the beginning of 2021 was to create a holistic um, health plan for my mind, my body, and my soul, and that has become the number one priority. So working with doctors and nutritionists and really getting that figured out. So I'm excited to see some positive results, even though the work is going to be hard. And that's another reason why Club Moxie timing was perfect. Perfect for me. Again, that starts April 30th. So Spiritual and personal growth. I had one simple <laughs> goal in this area, and that was to read my Bible daily with the goal of reading through it chronologically the way things happened in time, and uh, I am behind. I think just over a week's worth of reading at this point. So my goal as I'm filming this is to catch up over the next couple of evenings. I have read the entire Bible in 90 days in the past a couple of times, and so I know that I can read for understanding um, and catch up a week's worth of this reading in a couple of days, and I'm going to get that back on track. The next area that had big stretch goals was financial, and we're actually on track. The thing that I am slacking or has lacked in the last couple weeks is I've made this focus on my health really a priority is I was very diligently tracking all of our expenses and that while I'm monitoring them online, I'm not using my financial planner um, basically for almost a month now. And that is a little frustrating. It's a little bit of a speed bump, but as, as I mentioned, I'm tracking things online, what we are actually doing, and we're still putting those big chunks towards our financial goals for the year. So I think we're still on track and I'm hoping in May to get back on board with that as well. Finally, the last category is the physical environment, which for me was home. And if you saw my home planner video, I have, was super excited about that planner. I was using it consistently the first couple months, like these other things, especially the last three or four weeks that has just completely gone off. <laughs> track. So between the dog adoption and my physical health challenges, I have just moved back into basic maintenance around the house. So I did spend a little bit of time decluttering in our workout room, which is the decluttering there is that's the extra closet that has the kind of everything stuff that still needed to be purged, old artwork, memorabilia, some old paperwork as I moved into this office a year ago. Um, excuses, excuses, but I spent a few minutes in there and took a chunk of time to work on that already in April, so I'm proud of myself for that. And uh, the rest of the house has just been extra vacuuming <laughs> from the dog hair. <laughs> and I really need to use the floor cleaner like a couple times a week because he's a slobber monster. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so we're doing the basics and we're all pitching in and just keeping up with the most essential routines. So that was a lot. If you've made it to this point in the video, thanks so much for sticking around. Maybe you were listening while you were making dinner or listening even on a drive and just not watching the video. I hope that you have found this helpful. I hope that this kind of real life where I am with goals will help you understand that it is not just a steady progress towards finishing the goal. There's bumps in the road, there's ups and downs. And I think most importantly, it's recognizing that there will be shifts. So um, it is a little bit like whack-a-mole, like, okay, the health thing kind of popped up and we gotta take care of that one, so. The others, if they don't pop up as high, then they just maybe don't get a lot of attention this month. And that's the way things go. I'm looking forward to giving you guys another update, especially after a month or so of being in Club Moxie. If you're at all interested in that, I hope you'll click the link below to learn more. And if you have any other questions about that or my goals, please leave them in the comments. For now, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and that you are working to create a life you love. I'll see you soon.